So at this point, I feel the website is complete. There's no need to keep adding functionality if there's no need for the functionality. What we want to do now is I want to spend a handful of lessons going through some of the different topics and uh, different elements inside of this application that we haven't gone over yet. One of those topics is how to use a uh, library element within a page and disconnect it from the library, so embed it again. So instead of messing with all these pages that we've spent so much time building, let's go ahead and copy the index page, control C, control V, and I'm just going to rename this my test bed. Okay. So this way I can edit this page, mess with it, and we won't mess up our website. Okay. That way I can try out different functions and show you what they do. The first thing that I want to talk about is how to detach this library element from the library and embed it back into our web page. So it's real easy. All you have to do is select it and choose detach from original. At this point it's warning us that hey are you sure you want to do this? Yes. And now if you look it's completely detached. It's embedded inside of this um, uh, file so now we can do whatever we want to it. So that's a neat way of getting it off of the library and back into your page. Another thing that I want to show you how to use is flash text. So you just come down here where we added our flash element and choose flash text. Okay, And we can choose any font that we want. So I'll just use something goofy here. And I'll use a different color so you know it's there. All right, I'll say this is um, home. I'll make it bold. Okay, we want to link it to... We'll just link it back to the test bed. We don't want to mess with mess it up anywhere. Okay, we need to give it a file name. Now the only thing I don't like about this is this SWF file is going to be at the root. I don't like that. Uh, you can put it outside of the root, but then you have to put an absolute URL. So you have to put uh, dtwebdesign.com slash folder name slash file name. So you know I don't want to hard code it like that, so I'll just leave it at the root. We'll say OK. Now obviously that is a huge piece of text. So we can modify this. Right? All we have to do is double click. It opens up. This is like a small flash application. So let's set some rollover color. Let's set uh, our background to be that black. And our font size to be something a little more manageable, maybe 15. So we can hit Apply to test that. That looks pretty good. Hit OK. OK, and let's save this and test. So you can see we got a little rollover action going here. And so we could easily go through and recreate our menu here. OK, I'll just go ahead and instead of, um, I'm going to cancel that. Instead of um, making a whole bunch of those, I'm just going to copy and paste that and then edit this. Okay, and again this would be a new name. There you go. So something like that. Very easy to do. Now, there's a, obviously a number of things that we can do to tweak this, but um, I think you kinda get the idea. So I'm just gonna undo this Next, I'll talk about flash buttons.